raising funds for a medical clinic. No, but it's not one in Alberta. He's trying to collect money for a facility in one of the world's poorest countries, Nepal. Sunita Kaul reports. He also started the International Society of Nephrology Disaster Relief Task Force. Please welcome Dr. Kim Solis. Recently awarded the International Distinguished Medal from the National Kidney Foundation for 2009, Dr. Solis is fulfilling a long nurtured dream of setting up a medical institute a world away in Nepal, one of the five most impoverished countries in the world. 86% of Nepalis live in rural areas. Infant mortality in rural Nepal is 13.2%, more than double compared to that in urban Nepal. I was aware that there are many medical schools in Nepal that Wealthy families from all over the world send their children there and then the children become doctors and they go to some rich country and make money and, and it doesn't help uh, Nepal at all. It's, it's not just a problem in, in uh, Nepal but in uh, developing countries generally many of the physicians who train during their whole training per period they're planning to flee the country and as soon as they become doctors they leave and they never go back. And so that, that's a huge problem And you are worldwide. optimistic that your institute is going to stop the brain drain, as it's called? Yes, yes. Termed once as a great artist of the surreal by Canadian icon Leonard Cohen, Dr. Solis is much more than a decorated man of medicine. I think we should never limit ourselves by having too narrow a view of what we are or what we can be. It's this belief, perhaps, that makes him determined to combine his passion for music, the arts, and medicine, cross-discipline, as he would term it. This year's annual cultural celebration of Leonard Cohen will include a fundraising event on September 19th for the Nepal Project. It's an effort that began in uh, Nepal, but has a lot of uh, excellent people, both from the U.S. and uh, uh, Canada and Europe, uh, Australia helping. Um, there's an, an international advisory board and one of the roles of that board is to raise funds and, and so we all have philosophically agreed to do that but as far as I'm aware the fundraising effort that I'm doing here is the first actual project that anybody has, has, has moved forward on. We're going to do a song by Leonard Cohen. Call it the wheel of life. The iconic Canadian man of poetry who once renounced the world to live as a Zen monk is once again many years later associated in some way to help heal the land of Lord Gotham Buddha. Sunita Call, Omni News. I'm a little Jew who wrote the Bible.